Mike Purcell, manager here of uh, Black Hawk Motel, Wisconsin Hills. We are uh, depending on our family here since 1945. And uh, I basically grew up in the business here. Um, my parents ran the business uh, for about 44 years. And, uh, my dad owns the motel here yet, but me and my wife run it now. So uh, I grew up in the business and uh, it's a family owned and operated. We're uh, third generation, my wife and I. and. Uh, Two young boys, five and seven, and hopefully they'll want to take over someday and uh, make it the fourth generation. So we'll see how that goes. The uh, train station here, they uh, this is back in the, like the mid '80s. The uh, depot was deteriorated and uh, they needed a new depot. And then uh, Amtrak wasn't going to obviously build it, and then the community uh, pitched in and uh, paid for 100 percent of the uh, of the new of the new depot. No, never been on train. I'd like to go someday. You'll see the sh stuff between the stars, like the star dust and shit like that. Like shooting stars, things like that, you'll see all the time. You know, right next to it. You'll just see you just gaze in the space, you can see stars, satellites, stars. you can see any plane going overhead, like anything.
Like I, I don't know, I just feel free, you know, when you, as you're watching the world kind of slide past you, you know, it's kind of cool. When you're on the train, you get this sense of progression, and you see the, the, the change of the countryside as you go along. We are traveling from Portland down to Eugene, Oregon, and uh, in between we stopped at the capital of Oregon, Salem, then down to Albany, then Eugene, then we'll go over the Cascade Range, the mountain pass, through the tunnels on the other side, the other side of the hills, and we go downhill again, and then to Klamath Falls,
he crossed into California after Harvard Falls. He go to uh, Dunsmere, Reading, down to Sacramento. Well, the thing I like about this is you get to meet different people. Um, that's the big thing. And a lot of these people share the same interests of train travel. They're going to different, everybody's going to a different destination. Uh, we, we get to meet a lot of people from different countries, Germany, France, Russia, the Ukraine. They ride trains here in the United States. They just love it. I've met, you know, people from, people that I probably wouldn't normally meet because their lives are way different than mine. Or, you know, and they have different interests. and. Here we are jointly riding the train together. And like I say, nobody's in a hurry. You can't be in a hurry if you're going to be on the train. It takes a little bit longer.